I'm gonna open six packs of Return to Ravnica. I still have uh, more than half a box from the booster box that I uh, started cracking about a year ago. I want to replenish uh, some of the cards that I've been using to build commander decks with. And also, I would like to pull uh, a couple of commanders if I can, at least maybe one. I wouldn't mind if I pulled one legendary, one of the legendaries, Mythics, out of here. Let's see how we do. So. Here's the first pack. You see, as always, uh, do a little zoom in thing. There we go. Uh, I'm not gonna read the cards. I'll just point out uh, anything of interest. Son's watching uh, Saturday morning Yu-Gi-Oh! While I crack these packs. Right, bro? Huh? Yeah. Yep. Arc V, right? Or Arc 5. Uh, okay, this is definitely a junk rare. Um, it happens. Oh, and I've got a foil. Foil common. Nice. Let's go to the next one. These cards are still, these packs are still uh, cheap out there, which is really great. Um, since I, it's a much beloved uh, block. It's got strong cards, it's got, good, it's got good cards, it's very easy to build a bunch of decks with. Um, so yeah. A crowd favorite and I see a nice rare dread boar this card really made a lot of uh, made news when it came out because uh, because of the clause destroy target creature or planeswalker uh, I think up to this point there had been no uh, no non-creature spell that said that so I, I remember this being the first spell that specifically said you can remove a planeswalker and that was pretty good. I played this card a lot. A lot, lot. I'm making a video, Mom. Saturday morning before Target. Of course, I already got my Dominaria Planeswalker decks at Target yesterday afternoon. So I don't think, I doubt I'll be getting anything else uh, today unless they have a few packs of uh, limited edition alpha in repacks I'll get those if they have them um, I don't expect that to be the case of course okay and that's my rare which I would I would also call a junk rare it's fine we're having fun Saturday morning cracking packs I see a rat, it's wonderful. I always need one more of these. I always need another cancel. Very good, good, good pull. 
and I always need one of these guys. Great card in his set uh, decks. This is a pretty good pack already. And this card also. So I'm uh, wow. This is a nice pack with lots of utility cards for all kinds of decks. This card is also pretty good. Oh, and a key room. Nice. All in all, a great pack. Wow, yeah, this is really, uh, a, well, I would call it a utility pack. There's a lot of good stuff in here. So yeah, four packs in and we finally hit uh, an encouraging, fun pack that can uh, replenish my stock as I uh, build decks. I'm going to be replenishing it with packs, especially in the case of Return to Ravnica, because I still do have packs to open. And of course, there's a gazillion packs for the last 10 sets of forget the uh, Lost Era, as I call it. Um, so I'm sure those packs will can only get cheaper and cheaper as time goes on. I think right now we're in a good economy, but anytime the economy softens, you're going to see those packs uh, go down. Anything from Battle for Zendikar to the uh, last Ixalan set is going to be cheap, I forecast. I love this card when it came out. It's, just, it's pretty and it does a lot of good stuff. It's a, it's a naturalize with Populate. That's very helpful. Gilgate. I don't see a lot of replenishment cards in here, but I see a key room. That's pretty good. This dude is good too. And yeah, I see more replenishment. Counterflux. Although I have a few of these, so which is great. Uh, okay, last pack. So it doesn't seem like we're going to pull one of the legendaries out of these, but that's okay. I got a Dread Boar, got a couple of utility commons that I can always use. Uh, so this is a reasonable replenishment. It's not quite like my Kaladesh Fat Pack with uh, its glorious 10 junk rares. Um, Nothing like that in here. This is... It's got a few cards that are useful. Oh, great. Nice. Really nice. I can always use one more of these. Uh, and nothing special here, but that's okay. Uh, so I think, I think I'll do a quick recap of what I think were the... Really good pulse. I should have separated them before, so there's one of them. Let me see. I think cards outright that I know uh, I'll, I'm, I'll be sure to put into decks. I mean, there's some others, but these, these definitely are the ones that are Highlights. I call these the highlights. Yeah, that's a good that's a good card. Okay, so that's, so these are, so these are, I think, my highlights for the video. I'm just going to go through them one by one. A mine rot, which I called a uh, 
target destruction card in another video because sometimes I'm looking at the viewer and not the card and I say something silly. Uh, a charm, dread boar, really cool enchantment, Ter Therese Nielsen strikes again, beautiful artwork, and also a, a, a good card, puts a 3-3 down. Uh, my favorite rat, one of my favorite rats, I have many favorite rats. A castle, something for Izet, uh, a key rune, nice digger, um, the decoy, um, a nice counter spell, something aggro, uh, something that makes unblockables, nice red critter, and populate, and the key rune.